Aloha everyone, welcome. Today I wanted to make a video about treating propagation before potting. And why I wanted to do this is because um, you, well, from what I've been told is that you cannot treat a newly potted uh, propagation. At least that's what it says on the direction. And so I wanted to try to maybe take the route of treating the propagation for any insecticides or sorry, insects, pests, whatever. Um, this way, kind of maybe giving them a head start. Remember, this is a novice channel trying new things by trial and error. I have been propagating my uh, bubblegum Tradescantia and I hope that you can see that this is what it was called. I got it at um, Whole Foods. And something that I wanted to also say is that I Googled this and did a lot of research. And what I had found is that um, uh, it, a lot of people call it the Nanook variety. And the Nanook is uh, what I've been told on the Google and do a lot of the research is it's actually not supposed to be called that. Um, something I want to kind of show you and I'm just I keep pulling this out because I this is the second attempt that I'm making. Um, there is this little white creature in that likes to live in this propagation and I believe there's one of them right here and this is what I'm going to try to be treating this for and I don't know if you can see it it's a little white thing right there um, I have googled before and I keep getting a few different answers it's either mealybug scale or something else and I'm someone told me it was aphids but I, I, I they really don't look like aphids they look like honestly they look like um, uh, old school uh, fossil thingies that just are furry. <laughs> I don't know what, I can't remember what to call those fossil things, but, um, uh, oh my goodness. Anyways, those little things that look kind of like roaches, but <laughs> they weren't. Okay, so because of the um, roots being out of this water, I'm, I'm gonna just kind of go ahead and start and let me tell you what I have on hand. I have my insecticide soap right here. And then um, what I have is distilled water in this. And this is so I can hurry up after I rinse off the, um, after I rinse off the treated area, I can immediately, oh yeah, right here. Oh, you can see it, I think. I've got really bad eyesight. Oh yeah, this one's really bad. Okay, hopefully I can, zoom in on this can you see that that's what we're gonna try and treat right there can you see it I can so I'm on my phone because this is a new venture for me doing the GoPro I mean doing the YouTube channel um, I want to eventually get a GoPro but right now we're on my phone so if you can see that that is what I'm talking about. And there's all the little buddies right there. So can you see that? Let me see if I can touch this without it messing up the phone. I don't want the phone to fall. That's kind of what I'm scared of. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Sorry, guys. I'm really trying hard to help you guys identify my phone's not going to do it. And I don't want to knock over the phone. It was a very delicate process to try to get it to stay. So this is great. This actually gives me this opportunity to kind of hurry up and um, treat the, um, uh, sorry, the propagated, the propagated bubblegum Tradescantia. I just call it bubblegum. Some of my plants I've named, some of them I haven't. Uh, I, it's just, I don't know if maybe anybody else does that, but I do. So something I like to do before I treat 
pardon, I have to take a sip of um, my tea. I'm going to go ahead and set a paper towel down. I'm going to make sure that this is tightly fastened. I'm going to make sure it's on the correct spring that I want. Now, I've cleaned this area. I know it doesn't look clean. Um, pardon the dirty mess, but um, I've been kind of messing around in here anyways a little bit today. So, it's some of it's clean, some of it's just been messing around with. These are some of my crafts, blah, blah, blah. This is how it is. Um, anyways, I want to make sure that I have it on the proper spray because I this is insecticide soap. It is for organic, so it is safe to spray but you do want to wear gloves and something else I want to do is I want to make sure that I do my best to avoid the roots getting sprayed and how I do that is I just kind of lift them up and away and then um, I go from there I also give this a really good shake and I hope you can see what I'm doing and then what I'm going to do is just spray down into here. And this stuff, it works pretty good. It kills kind of instantly. And that's kind of what we want. We want to get in there and get rid of these little buggers. And um, make sure that they are not able to survive and I'm just you know I'm, I don't know if you oh sorry guys I don't know if you can see what I'm doing but I am letting the soap sit for a minute and I'm just twirling it around once again trying to avoid the root being touched um, even though when you do actually do insecticide soap when they're potted the root goes down or I mean the soap goes down into the root system um, and here I'm going to rinse. I don't know if you can see me, so I'm going to kind of come over here. My main objective is so that you can see. I've got the shower system on. And I actually kind of want to make sure the water's a little warm. Because I googled a lady who said that she got rid of the thrips with giving a warm water shower. And uh, that intrigues me. And so I wanna try to make sure that I give a warm water, a warm water bath shower, I mean, cause I just don't wanna have any bugs, anything surviving at all. And something about the water here in Florida is it's gnarly. It's really gross. That's another reason why I use uh, distilled water on all the plants for the most... Oh, we got a broken leaf. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, wow. That's how fragile these leaves are right now. So, that's really a bummer. Maybe I need to turn that down just a little bit and do a gentle... That's a little too warm. And hopefully I can get all that, those bugs out. So I feel like that's rinsed off enough. And so because these roots are really good, um, these plants are gonna survive. Uh, let's turn that off. These plants will grow. I mean, it's interesting because these are delicate plants, yet they're so hardy. They grow so well. I mean, I have propagated this so many times. And it's interesting to um, note just how hardy they are and how resilient they are. And so let's take a look at this one. And I'm not going to have you guys on for each and every one that I do. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you that that's what I'm going to do for all of these right here. I, I hope I can. This is my propagation station. And I'm uh, working on a pineapple here and found something here that I thought I'd pick up and try to propagate. 
And so, all right, folks, I hope that this has been helpful and um, God bless y'all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.